Hey guys, my name is Paul. I'm going to quickly do a retopology tutorial. I'll just show you how to use the retopology tool within ZBrush. Just drawing a sphere on the canvas. You can make sure that's a poly mesh 3D. Control D, some resolution into my mesh. Gonna make a divot so we can retopologize around this divot. You can see that the topology flow is going this way around, and we're just gonna put it over here. Make it go this way. Shift F is the quick shortcut I've just seen here. Shift F to do polyframe like this. And I'm just gonna drag a some uh, some sort of surface detail here so we can capture that as well and also some dots more dots some finer some finer details okay great once you've sculpted your mesh go over to the subtool palette click subtool append Z sphere. Click on your Z sphere in the subtool palette. Scroll all the way down till you see topology. Click topology to, uh, palette and then click edit topology. And then it's simply lowering your draw size to get accurate and uh, just click away to make new edge flow. You can switch to the move tool and just move the topology lines, you know, the edges. Go back to draw, command click to select your point where you're going to draw from and just draw out. Capture something like this. At any time, if you're unhappy with what you've drawn, you can Alt click to destroy the lines, Command click to set the point from which you're going to start drawing again, and just click. Click, click, click. I'm just going to do one more loop around here. fill in this hole. Great. Quads everywhere, that's awesome. We can preview our new mesh by pressing the letter A and you can see that and then we'll just turn off the original mesh. You can see what it's made for us, that's cool. Um, what I want to do is just show you that you can take the, the color information. So we'll just fill the object with that and make a blue splatter somewhere by clicking RGB, making sure RGB is on. Paint some stuff in there. That's cool. Okay, that's, that's enough then. Um, and with that, then we're going to go to our Z sphere, make sure its visibility is on. Go down all the way to the bottom to see adaptive skin. Click that. Click make adaptive skin. We need to append that adaptive skin by going append skin sphere. It's just automatically uh, named that because it was on the Z sphere. We can then turn off our original, our uh, not our original, but the, the mesh that we created with the Z sphere. Go to our Z sphere poly mesh, um, and give this some resolution by going Control D. We can see 
if you push shift F to see the poly frame, you can see the topology lines are nice going around that little divot that we've created. Um, and now we simply, uh, once we have enough resolution, we can simply just go project all. If we are on, we have both of them visible. We have the mesh that you want to project onto selected and we just click project all. And this dialog here is just saying, do you want to transfer the poly paint as well? And you, yes, we do. So we say yes, and there it's projected nicely. We just turn off our original and we can see, oh, um, we've captured the surface detail, the poly paint. We could have got more finer projection if we had more subdivisions on this, on the mesh that we have made, um, the skin Z sphere. But this has done quite a good job uh, compared to our original, which is here. Um, it looks quite the same. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty good. You can also carry on sculpting this mesh if you like. Um, this is still editable. Still an edit editable mesh, and um, I think that's that's all.